on the menu for British Sky Broadcasting today. Annual results which showed revenues or income of £6.6 .6 billion, up 16%, which consolidates its position as the biggest British broadcaster. But for its chairman, morning. James Murdoch, life Can hasn't been so morning. rosy because he's also chairman of News Corporation's UK arm, which owned the News of the World. Given the widespread criticism there's been of News International and of James Murdoch, why did the board take the view that James Murdoch shouldn't stand down as chairman? I think the vast majority of supporters, of shareholders, are very supportive of James. They recognise his contribution. Of course they want to see uh, the appropriate system of, of governance and independence at Sky, which we have and will continue to have. Um, but uh, he has strong support with shareholders, very, very strong support in the business uh, and strong support from the board. But evidence from these two former colleagues of James Murdoch, Colin Myler and Tom Crone, could weaken James Murdoch, depending on how this committee We've rules on a disagreement a between them over the when James Murdoch very, knew very about the extent matters, of illegal phone hacking at the News of the World. Tom Crone and Colin Myler and indeed John Chapman have made statements suggesting that the evidence given to the committee by James Murdoch was incorrect. So we want to find out more details of that and we've written to ask them to supply more information. Once we have that, I think it's very likely we will want to put that to James Murdoch and hear his response. What's striking is that all the bad publicity about what happened at B-Sky-B's biggest shareholder, News Corporation, doesn't seem to have harmed B-Sky-B. In a pretty weak economy, British Sky Broadcasting pushed up its operating profits by more than a billion pounds. It ended the year with 10.3 million paying customers and it's handing back to shareholders 750 million pounds in cash. The moment James Murdoch's more famous father, Rupert Murdoch, received a foam pie in the face. Delivered by this protester, Jonathan May Bowles, who today pleaded guilty to assault. I would just like to say, that this has been the most humble day of my life. And what if the Murdochs <laughs> find something much. worse than foam is sticking to them? Will that persuade the regulator Ofcom that under News Corp's influence, B Sky B is no longer fit and proper to hold a broadcasting licence? I strongly refute any suggestion that B Sky B is not an appropriate fit and proper uh, owner of a broadcast licence. You know, the licence is held by the company, uh, and the company is controlled by an independent, uh, by a majority of independent directors at board level, and we have got strong systems of control and strong standards right throughout Sky. Which implies that if the going gets tough for James Murdoch and Rupert Murdoch, the independent directors of Sky would try to put distance between themselves and the business's founders, the Murdochs. Robert Peston, BBC News.